why is the wall so iconic? It became a symbol of, of an entire era. It's due to how it is written in relation to the social circumstances it was danced in, the society that surrounded it. This music is so full of, once again, changes in its mood, in its character. The melody itself is, yes, cradling its curvy, sensual, dance is always something sensual, but also specifically starts sweet, then we have a moment when <gasps> we have a, a, a great sigh, it becomes uh, for a moment sad, uh, suffering. Then uh, immediately afterwards opens up to a suspension, a moment of daydream, in order then to close uh, with a quiet, yes, but very defined rhythmical closing. Ta -ra -ta -ta. In such a small amount of time, so many little changes. But these are not uh, like in Mozart and Haydn, for the sake of the change, for the sake of, of the variation, of, of the surprises, of the talking. These are meant for a specific role. Now we must spend two minutes to talk about the society of the 19th century. This is a society where the aristocracy already fell out of power. The middle class, the working middle class uh, took over. And uh, now the society is totally driven by the middle class. The society built by the middle class is a society that is highly moralist, very strict morally. Think about Victorian England as the most glamorous example of this, but basically every society in Europe, in, but also, also in the US, I have to say, in the 19th century is uh, highly moralistic. What could be done in public? the type of behaviors that were forbidden. They were very clear and very strict. Everyone is watching everyone. The good name and the reputation of a, of a gentleman, of a lady, could be destroyed by a very small gesture, inappropriate gesture, or even the suspicion of an, of an inappropriate gesture. Society was really punishing very hard those who were deemed as inconvenient people, that were behaving in an, in an immoral way. Now, in this kind of society, where, again, everyone is under so surveillance, but by everyone else, of course, there must be occasions when the sensual, sexual, physical energy is let out. The dance, the world is this, uh, is this uh, moment when people could really forget everything, just let themselves go and uh, enjoy something very spicy. Because the waltz is really a, a situation, an engineered situation, when between the couple that is dancing in this very famous posi position, embracing each other with plenty of physical contact, the, there is the possibility of having sparks in between the two very close faces. Stares, smiles, little words exchanged. They are not to be seen by anyone else. It's a little private world when the two people, the man and the woman, can have fun. Have fun with a spicy game of seduction, of flirt. This is the spirit spirit of the dance. This is what music is, this music is meant to fuel. This is why we see all the time in the waltz, not only of course the step of the dance, but also moments that give to the lady the possibility of display and use their seduct her seductive weapon. So moments of sweetness, of more family melodies. On the other hand, there are always the counterpart part of rhythmical, vertical, powerful moments when the muscular, manly part can take charge and display the other seductive weapons, the complementary ones. Now we listen, we listen further, and I don't need to comment to pause. You will totally see on your own 
how stimulating of this uh, of this uh, uh, of this sparkling situation this music is it is totally meant to be so and this is how also should be listened because this is its meaning see how there is nothing serious really in this music even this moment of very fake sadness that sighs so desperately how oh, oh, this 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 type of, of of course of sentimental strategy and then immediately answers with a bold and rhythmical response there is nothing true in this uh, game please remember a game is fake these uh, are not true feelings they are just for fun. This is why they were allowed. Because at the end of the dance, uh, the couple parts, uh, and uh, there is no trace left of all this, uh, of all this, uh, of all this fire. This is why it was totally allowed for a ma married when men to dance with the, the, the spouse, the woman of someone else, the wife of someone else, and so on. Also unmarried people could totally dance. Because uh, everyone knew that this is just for fun. This is just uh, this is just to let go and enjoy. It's not real. Nothing of this is real. But this is also the reason why it is so spicy. It is so fun. It is so tingling. Because uh, it's there that has no consequence on your external life. Then it ends uh, and uh, friends like before. Let's move on a little bit, then we must close. And so on. We have no time to listen for, forward, but uh, ahead. But but totally, you can now pick whatever waltz you want. Uh, Johann Strauss wrote so many great ones. This is really it, the soul of this dance, and this is why it became so iconic. Now, very quickly, where can you find uh, Strauss in this city? You can see this wonderful golden statue in the park, one of the main parts of the city. Next to that, uh, there is uh, the so-called Kur Salon. It is uh, a beautiful palace when they play a lot of Strauss uh, and where he himself used to perform back then. So it is, uh, it is a place full of history and very elegant, very shiny, very beautiful, of course. Mm -hmm. 